Hello everyone, I'm over here by the way. Welcome to this Broads tour. A lot of people have been asking me for a long time to come and do a live around the Broads and obviously explaining the fact that obviously on a mobile phone the signal is most definitely dodge. And also trying to capture the whole Broads within one area is, uh, is quite tough. So, sorry we're on a very busy main road here. So I thought what I'll do is I'll visit three different locations and we'll do it as live. So, um, before we get started, we need to address something though, because a lot of people ask me, why do you call it the Broads National Park when it's not? That's because all the signs when you come into the Broads say Broads National Park. I've looked on the website and I'm still utterly confused. So comment below if you can tell me if it is actually a national park. Anyway, we're gonna start the tour in location number one in Wroxham. Let's go. Hope you've all had a wonderful evening. It's Tim and I'm here alone without Gabby tonight. So we're starting off in Wroxham. So I've obviously been inundated with uh, messages from people to say, uh, can you do a Norfolk Broads tour? And I've always thought, how am I gonna do this? So three different locations. We're going to Wroxham, Potter Heigham, and also somewhere slightly different. We're also gonna go up in a church. More about that a little bit later. This was recorded today. It was recorded literally a couple of hours ago. I, I've ran home, or drive home, uh, to get this on for you guys. So welcome to tonight's live stream on the Broads. If you're watching this on replay, of course, um, as I'm talking, I will be talking to the live chat, which you can keep up to date with when you watch on replay. But feel free to comment in the comment section if you've been to any of these places tonight on the Broads, which is your favorite, and should I go anywhere else? And also the debate that continues with the whole Norfolk Broads uh, National Park. Let me know what your um, philosophy is on that because so many people get very angry and sent me, um, when I did a, a video on um, a day boat this year and I said I'm here in the Broads National Park, a lot of people are getting very angry. So is it National Park? Is it not? Tell us in the comments. Right, so we're coming up towards Roy's of Roxham, the famous Roy's of Roxham, which is basically a department store which has everything in it. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the day boats, have a lovely walk around this evening. We'll take in nature and the sound. The, well, you won't be able to smell anything, but you'll be able to have the sights and the sounds, so make sure you turn your volume up nice and loud. I'll also stay quiet in some parts as well. Uh, just saying hello to people in the live chat. Good evening to Michael Bradbrook. H-Man is here. David N.W. Hello to Mackie, Sam, Sean. Hello to Lewis, Marie. Hello to Rose. Um, hello to Mark as well. Hello to Colleen, Suzanne, Stephen and Jacko. If it's not a national park, it should be, says Jacko. Completely agree with you there, Jacko. I don't know why these signs were put up and why people get so angry when it's not officially one. Anyway... Roy's has been here since 1895 and it also has, look at this, across the road, a McDonald's. How amazing. I always found that weird. The first time I came to Roy's and saw a McDonald's in there, I was like, Roy's is the best thing ever. <laughs> it is the best thing ever. We're going to walk down to the waterside. We're going to take a look at the King's Head, but um, I'm going to take a look at this pub from the other side in just a moment. Hello, Fortnite player. Sean King is in the live chat as well. Hello to Robin SW. Uh, B, Stephen Sharon from Gainsborough are watching. Hello, guys. Feel free to share the video as well if you want. There's a share option. And uh, most importantly, give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out loads. <laughs> Robert says, love some rocks and tea. Good evening, Debs. Hello, John Webster. Right family is here. Who is Roy? That is the question. I, I don't know the history, to be honest, but I'm sure that Roy's of Roxham was originally done by somebody called Roy. If you do know, tell me in the chat. It'll be uh, interesting to know who Roy is. Um, the famous part of Roy's of actually Roxham is the department store on the left, but uh, there's got a little shopping area up here. There's a Costa. We'll go and check that out in just a moment, but I'm going to swing a right. Um, and the famous Roxham Bridge, which is um, appeared on postcards. It's quite a busy day, it's September. This was literally filmed two hours ago. I literally filmed it, drove home, 
and I'm here. Yeah, people still stare at me with the camera. You can see this on the live now because I try to edit this out when I um, pre-record it. <laughs> You'll see some strange looks and people asking strange questions as well. Just walking for the restaurant, I'm sure they won't mind. It's okay. Other people are doing it as well. Looks quite nice in there actually. Uh, Nigel says, hi Tim, I climbed Ramworth Church when I was younger. Nigel, stick around because I'm going at Ramworth Church um, and the views up there are amazing. But it's so eerie going up Ranworth Church. Literally, you can just go up there and it's like health and safety issues. I'll tell you more. You'll see more in just a little bit. A popular place to come and feed the ducks though. People sitting outside enjoying this September weather. Can't believe it's mid-September. Stuart's here. Good evening, Stuart. Hello, Judith. Love the lives, Tim. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thanks, Robin. Uh, Karen says, we ate McDonald's in Roy's. Odd finding in the department store. Yeah, it is. Mind you, loads of McDonald's now appear in um, in in department stores. When I was in um, Bournemouth, they've got one in Asda now. Nice one there, look. It's going to kill me. It's going to get me. No, it's not. So we're going to take a walk just further up here just to show you the uh, the broads that I truly love. I mean, it's one of my favorite places to come on a day like today as well. Look at that, these, these, honestly, the Queen's birds going crazy. Listen to this. <laughs> They're going crazy for the food. In fact, I'll show you where you can get the food if you ever do come to Roxham. Tracy says she was in Roxham today. Tracy, I must have missed you. Fortnite player, I've never been to Roxham. It's the capital of the Norfolk Broads. You should come down. See, this is where you can buy bird feed from. There's some further, sorry, there's some further around here. Right, family, don't feed them bread. Absolutely right. This is where you can get some proper food from. Uh, how much will it cost you? 50p for a bag. Mega bags a pound. Tubs are a pound. Super bags. Super tubs, two pound. And you put your money in there. Look, all nicely done. And put in these little bags. And of course, there you go. Proper stuff to uh, feed the ducks and the birds. Leanne Spampamanto. Hello, Tim. Long time no speak. Where have you been, Leanne? I haven't seen you for ages. Thank you very much for your super chat. I haven't seen you for ages, Leanne. We did live last night. You must have missed it. There will be times as well where I'm going to stay completely quiet so you can truly take in what is uh, the beautiful Norfolk Broads. Let's just walk down here. I had to run past these people because this is what happens when I'm doing a live. They kind of people get in the way, so I have to <laughs> I have to be quick. But I just wanted to show you this. This is this is. Uh, I don't know how long this has been here, but this is pretty new because I haven't seen it in a while. But when I was on a day trip, I saw it. Um, it's almost like a little mini catamaran, but you sit up high on a broads tour. It's really cool. Oh, you've been busy decorating your flat, Leanne. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, apparently, right family says don't feed the ducks or birds bread. It bloats them out. I know, carbs. Joey B, hi Tim, new to the channel. Have seen many of your videos. Brilliantly done, I have to say. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Joey B. Check out the previous videos from Sam Banks and, of course, uh, from Butlins. Obviously, I do lives every now and again. Uh, and sometimes I do these kind of lives where I can't get a very good phone signal. Um, and I prefer to do them as a live because it gives something extra. 
uh, to you guys that are subscribed rather than just the normal edited videos. We're just going to have a walk down here as well. Um, a lot of work has been done on the boards actually to kind of um, redo a lot of the, the walking pavements and paths and, and broadwalks and stuff like that. Renata says, just that, that fellow on the guitar you walk past is usually in Gentleman's Walk in Norwich outside Lloyd's Bank. Wow. Renata, you've got a good eye. A popular selfie bridge up here. You get some good shots over the broads. So nice. Such a lovely day, though. You Honestly, when you go down by the broads, you'll see so many um, dragonflies as well, which is they're just so lovely to see. And if you're lucky, you know, you might get one land on you. I don't know why it looks like there's a bus stop under here. Maybe something to do with the uh, the rail bridge. I'm not sure. Please give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out enormously. Uh, I don't know where Crispy is tonight, Suzanne. Very good question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Judith. Good evening. Welcome to the live stream. If you've just joined us, we're on live, as live, um, on the Norfolk Broads. This was recorded literally just a couple of hours ago. Please give the video a thumbs up, as I said. Helps me out loads. And tell me if you've been to Wroxham... We're off to Potterheim after this and then to somewhere slightly different on the broads that a lot of people probably don't know about. Lance, you're absolutely correct. That is what is happening. The reason for this, Lance, is obviously I can't get a mobile signal on the broads. Which would be great, you know. One day we will. Elon Musk will sort it out. So when you come to Roxham, yeah, have a walk up here because this not a lot of people come up here and it's quite quiet and it's just a nice place to come and sit. You'll find so many people fishing or literally taking their portable chairs, having a sit down and literally just taking in the sounds, the smells, the smells quite pondy, um, <laughs> and just the beautiful Norfolk Broads. Bit put out why that um that big electrical thing is there. It kind of ruins it a little bit, but I guess it has to be there. Just don't go climbing up here. Uh, hello to Leslie in the live chat right now. Loving walking up there in Wroxham. Ali says beautiful, love it there. Darren was there last week. Tim, lovely part of the world. Uh, went on a paddleboard. Do you know what? I've got a paddleboard and I haven't used it yet on the Norfolk Broads. I've been out in the sea. I've been to all these different places that I've travelled to this summer and I've purposely used it, but I haven't used it on the Norfolk Broads. Probably because I don't want to kind of jump in there. <laughs> it looks a little bit. Um, yeah, algae fied to be fair. So, yeah, a bit worried. Well, Mackie Smith, that's good. That's good that you thought I was actually doing it live. Can you not tell? Uh, right, family, should have gone to Horning peacefully there. Peaceful there. Yes, I will do there, actually, in a paddleboard. Definitely. Uh, hello to Phil. Hi, Tim and Gabby. Hope you both well from Warwick in Warwickshire. Hello, Tim. Can you say hello to my uncle James and Nan Leslie? That's from Lorraine. Lauren, sorry, Lauren Cooper. Paul said, I hired a day boat for Roxham and Potheim. Don't forget as well, if you want to see my tour, hang on, oh, that's all right. Uh, if you want to see my tour of um, hiring a day boat from Roxham and taking it on the Norfolk Broads, there is a link in the description. Make sure you check it out after you've seen this live. Good evening, Michael. Hope you're doing okay. Yes, Tyler, there has been report of blue algae in some of the broads, which is obviously dangerous for pets and uh, adults to drink. No, Jenna, I don't know where Crispy is tonight on our, on our mod, on our lives. There you go, people getting off the boat there, look. Obviously, a different way of seeing the broads. You will be able to see some paddle steamers in a minute, all the old-fashioned style paddle steamers. There you go respect <laughs> a 
Uh, David said he's going to be going on holiday in Potheim in two weeks. We'll see how much some of these uh, Broads boats actually go for in just a little bit if you've ever wanted to buy one. But still, you know, middle of September, people are still renting these out. They've got kitchens, beds. I've always wanted to do it, but Gabby's never really been interested. I've said to her, come on. She works for a company that also has a company of boats on the Broads. And I said, look, we can get a discount. Let's do it. And she's like, eh. Not interested, so... Oh, well, um, maybe I'll have to do it on my own and stay in overnight and do a video, maybe next year. But as I said, if you want to check out my day trip on the broads as I try and find a pub, the link is in the description right now. Over 100 thumbs up. Keep that thumbs up coming. It helps me out loads. Oh, do I wish I could be in there having a drink right now on the left. <laughs> Uh, Sean, when I was in hospital, I was so bored, I watched a documentary Dragonflies. Did you know that thousands of years ago, they used to have a wingspan of 70 centimetres? How scary, that would still be that huge. Wow, crazy. Mackie, Crispy's not here tonight. It's alright, I can mod. I can mod because I'm from home, you see. I can do it myself. Ha ha. In fact, I might make... I, in fact, do you know what? I'm going to make a few more people mods tonight. Um... And David NW, respect to you, always supporting the channel. You are now officially a moderator. <laughs> in fact, there's not many mods in tonight. Hey Ross, good evening. Hope you didn't have any technical mishaps like last night. Hopefully not, because I'm using my phone data because my own Wi-Fi is so rubbish. Oh, Jay, hope you're doing okay. Hope you're doing better. I know it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? So what we're going to do, this is an extremely busy road in Roxham. Um, and to cross the bridge, it's um, it's quite scary at times. Um, obviously, don't walk over the bridge. I made that mistake once. There is a sign that says there is a footpath just here. And I'll show you where I mean. Let's see, everyone goes here, takes photos. Ali P, do you know what? I will make you a mod. Of course you can. You are now officially a moderator. The only thing I ask of you guys that mod, don't ban people. Just put them in a timeout, all right? Because they're my precious subscribers. Uh, but don't ban people, obviously. If they're playing up or being rude, put them in a timeout or hide the user from channel. Just don't ban them, okay? Appreciate that. Uh, Steven says, I love fishing in Roxham. In the winter, you'll see someone fishing and catching an absolutely massive fish in a moment. But this is probably one of the most famous views of the Broads. It's one of my favourite views as well of Roxham. Uh, looking over to uh, the famous Broads tours. Now, this is the thing. There are so... Are people nice? Judith, do you know what? Today, there was a lot of people that looked very annoyed at me. Probably because I was filming. But I've got a very small camera. I don't know why. Uh, but there are a lot of places to hire your boat from. The Broads Tours, in my opinion, are the most expensive. You can get them good deals, but you have to book in advance. But they also do, here you go, this is just the map of the Broads. You can just see how massive it actually is. It runs from Norwich, spans towards the coastline of Great Yarmouth, obviously. Uh, down through northern parts of Suffolk as well. I mean, the Broads are just absolutely huge definitely worth checking out and that's what I mean there's so many different places to go and check out um, that's why I wanted to do a video of a few different places just so you can get an idea of what it looks like Rose you definitely need Rose where are you from you need to do, uh, visit this place sold out the river trips are sold out so what you can do is you can book a river trip right to go on a sunset cruise and they are really lovely to do that it, there goes the day boat there. Again, I've tried to get Gabby on a sunset cruise. She's not interested. But we'll see one just getting ready to uh, to leave here in Roxham in a little bit. You're from Bedfordshire. Oh, I see. Yeah, if you ever come to Great Yarmouth, obviously. I, I, when you arrive in Great Yarmouth, you see a big sign that says the Broads. Um, and it's difficult to articulate where to go. You know, Roxham is the capital, but there's loads of little nuggets of little places where you can go, which you'll see on this video of where you can launch a day boat from uh, and some places where you can hire, you know, a boat for four, five, six days. They've got 
cookers inside them you know tvs electricity and you know they and beds obviously so yeah it's worth doing yes judith the nights are drawing in now that's why i've got to start this live slightly earlier tonight you can see there it looks like a paddle steamer but it's not there used to be paddle steamers going on the boards i don't know if they're going at the moment i'm not quite sure as always guys please give the video a thumbs up and if you haven't already and you can see that red button that means you haven't subscribed so make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell don't understand why it says nick and tom on that day boat i don't know what's going on there Now, a lot of people go to a place called um, Potter Hyam, and there is a department store there. Again, what is, it, what is it with these department stores and the broads? There's a department store in Potter Hyam called Latham's. People go there. I will show you what the fuss is all about. It's quite famous locally, but uh, I just wanted to show you what looks like a paddle steamer, but unfortunately it's all painted on. Or, or is it? I'm not sure. No, it's, I'm sure it's just by engine. That is a small boat. Gary, hi. £60 for two hours. Hmm. Which one are you looking at, Gary? Obviously, I don't know if it's still peak season. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so a lot of people go on these sunset tours. They used to be paddle steamers. I don't know if they're still running, but this one pretends to be a paddle steamer even though it's not it looks like it but it's not this is the uh, vintage broadsman you can get parties corporate events on there people enjoying you can get food on there as well it's quite nice yes rose you definitely should uh mackie uh that does sound lovely definitely a lot of people have memories from the broads when they were younger Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out enormously. Right, we're just going to walk back round. So still to come, we've got Pot Hyam, and then we're going to be investigating this truly amazing church on the Broads, which you can go... There's very few churches you can actually go up now to the steeple and go up to the top and climb on... Well, not climb on the roof, but you wait till you see it. It's going to be crazy. That is such a funny small boat. Obviously, just um, do the rounds. Obviously, when you're on the broads, you have to stick to a speed limit. If you don't, you can get fined. And there are broads police patrolling. I noticed that when I did my uh, day boat hire. I never did find that pub in Horning. I was gutted. If you've just tuned in, this is an As Live, so this was recorded literally a couple of hours ago. Signal in the broads is not very good, so hence why I'm doing it like this. I'm also chatting to you guys in the live chat. If you love the Norfolk broads, give the video a thumbs up. So just quickly walking around here just to uh, head back over the bridge. You could probably hear me typing as well. Just to show you around here because you can actually stay in the Roxham Hotel which is it's got some lovely rooms over the broads but also it um, there's some houses around here that you can stay in as well. That's what a day boat looks like when there's no um, seating on it. Rachel, thanks very much for your £1.99 super chat. Uh, Gary, I don't know how much it is for uh, a sunset tour. I don't know. Roxham Hotel is £200 for one night. Is it really? Blimey, it doesn't look the best hotels. There are so many people fishing on the broads, right? And just look in front of you. They have just caught a massive fish. Uh, it's a shame pike on a trike is here. I don't know if it's a pike or what it is. But can you see them? 
they're wrestling with that fish. I'll show you a bit more in a minute, but I just thought I'd show you these little uh, cottages. Again, I don't know if these are for rent or people live here. But a lot of people... I, I was actually quite surprised. Look at the size of the fish. Can you see that over there? It's absolutely massive. And boats are going along here and everything. I have to say, today, I did see a lot of guys with their tops off working it with a fag on. <laughs> on the Norfolk Broads. Uh, Jacko says, every time I go to the pub in Horning, I can never find a mooring. I'm exactly the same. Never. Right Family says, always makes me think it's funny. Roy's of Wroxham are spent and isn't in Wroxham. You're currently in Wroxham. The video, but the second of the site is in Hoverton, not Wroxham. You are correct, actually, yes. Can you say hello to Matty from Farley Hill? Is a massive fan. Hey Mike, welcome to the stream. We're in Norfolk on the uh, Norfolk Broads. This was recorded literally two hours ago. I know it's getting dark right now, 12 past seven. Latham's used to be a lovely shop back in the day. Is it not now then, Suzanne? Eugene, good evening, hope you're okay. Yeah, Mike, a lot of people come here on holiday. A lot of people also come here just to visit as well. These higher boats are cool, but I would go left under the bridge. It depends where you want to go. A lot of people choose left or right. But do your research, Google it, because there are some boat hire companies here on the broads that uh, charge more than others. And also some have penalties as well if you return your boat back late. As I said, check out my video from the, uh, the day trip tour that I took this summer on the broads and uh, see I use the company Richardson's obviously I haven't paid for this or anything but uh, I use them and uh, I found them okay fish and chip shop there oh I'm getting hungry Andreas I have no idea what you're on about you went to Roxham after meeting up with me and Gabby did you hello Emma good evening from Hastings just woke up after doing a night ship uh, night shift. So this is a little shopping precinct in uh, Wroxham. There's a Costa burger box. Randomly, an, est an estate agents. <laughs> Stephen Wards, thank you very much. I wanted to show you Hotel Roxham. Right, looks like an office block, but apparently it's quite expensive to stay in overnight. Who's who said it was two hundred pound a night? Somebody in the chat did. Mike, we were asking the question about Roy. Who is Roy? Was there a Roy? And where is he now? I guess if you googled it, you probably would know. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It helps me out loads. Pushes this video out to more of my subscribers. YouTube's having this thing at the moment where I'm doing lives where a lot of people are not getting notifications and they keep messaging me going, I didn't know you was live, so I, I can only apologise. It's a YouTube thing. Obviously, make sure you hit subscribe and then there's a little notification bell. If you click all notifications, it will tell you when I'm live. Hello, Michael and Julie Claridge. Martin says you're paying for the views and for the... Yeah. I believe this is the restaurant for the Hotel Roxham. I could be wrong. Okay, so let's leave Roxham. And because this is an as live, we can magically go towards Potter Hyam. See? Magic. Here we are in Potter Hyam. Um, now, again, Potter Hyam is a place where you've got a department store, which is odd, just like Roxham. You've got lots of boats and day boats and other boats that you can hire as well. And uh, the thing about this place is that it's a little, I know it's hard to say, but it's a little bit quieter than Roxham. 
Hello Moonshine, just looked the same as I remember. I was uh, here on holiday over 15 years ago. I love Norfolk Broads. Hello Moonshine, haven't seen you before. Chris, <laughs> the buildings look a bit uninspiring. Michael Bradbrook, thank you very much for your three pound super sticker. I really do appreciate that, Michael. Thank you so much. Yeah, so this is quite quiet. And I tell you what, if you want to buy a boat, this is how much the boats cost, right? Right up here, you'll see these little signs in the windows and you can see how much they cost. This one, a Dutch steel boat, 22,000 pounds. That is 22 grand right made pretty well probably not the best but take a look at this one five thousand nine hundred and ninety five pounds outboard engine uh three bedrooms or th uh, sorry no sleeps three inside there let's have a look uh, there's a there's a sink i can't can you see that that pulls out to a bed as well do you know what well, that's not bad if you want to you've got a little bit of cash to spare on the broads <laughs> I would. Ah, uh, Emily's. Ah, oh, so Roy is a surname, not a Christian name. I thought that. I did think that, to be fair, but someone else said. There's more boats here for sale. I find this area here is where boats are for sale. <laughs> Looks better than the first one, big, yeah. This is the home to Herbert Woods. They sell a lot of boats. Nice plug for them. Yeah, just here to the right, you can see some that uh, 39,000, blimey. That's quite expensive. But that one's a little bit more luxurious than the first one we saw at 22,000. Just thought I'd walk up here as well. You can see these little lodges, stroke chalets. You can actually rent, I believe you can rent them don't know whether you rent them from Herbert Woods or they're lived in. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me. But again, it would just be lovely for a holiday, wouldn't it? And it truly is uh, a really lovely experience to go on one of these day boats for a day, a week. Obviously, these are not day boats. These are for holidays. Um, hello, Helen. Sorry I missed your walk. I was at work. No worries, Helen. Monty Zephyr, good evening Tim, just dropped in for a brief visit for the evening but wanted to see as much as possible, I appreciate that. Lance says, seems cheap until you factor in the mooring costs. Well I'll tell you what Lance, there are quite a few places on the broads where you can moor for free so it's not too bad. Amanda, good evening, thanks for joining the live stream. This was a pre-recorded live a couple of hours ago on the Norfolk broads. We're hitting three different Norfolk Broads today. You should do it in one day for 24 hours and film it. Martin, that's a good idea. Obviously, they cost quite a lot, so maybe we'll have to do it out of season. But it's quite funny, because up here, there is a bridge that you can go across. But this bridge is exclusively for um, those Herbert customers and people who own a boat. And I thought to myself, should I go over there? Should I just go underneath? But it just doesn't really go anywhere. It's just for other moorings, basically. That's all. Hello, Jimbo. Thanks for joining us. As I said, you'll see a lot of fishermen on the broads because there's quite a lot of fish in here. Whether you need to get a license, I don't know. But the size of these rods, I mean, the angle, I've got to be careful about. <laughs> but look at that. Just look how intense they are. They're waiting. Waiting for that pike. Is it? It's a shame Pike and the trike is... I feel like I have to whisper. It's quite quiet. Anyway, we're going to move on. Because uh, I'm not really a fisherman. I get bored of fishing. I tried fishing once and got bored of it. Fly on a boat with Tim. Belvedere, good idea. <laughs> Just quickly as well, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed and you check out my videos, it really is important for you uh, to hit subscribe so you can see when I do a live. Just hit that notification bell as well next to it. 76% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Uh, two videos out on my channel, of course, um, at the moment. My trips to Sandbanks, which has just reached 10,000 uh, views, so thank you very much. And my Butlins trip as well. 
really do appreciate that. But I always love to look into the analytics and yeah, the amount of people that are not subscribed that watch the videos on a regular basis, very interesting. Remember, you don't have to pay to subscribe. We're seeing too many blokes with their tops off. Not that I want to see women with their tops off, but I'm just saying there's too many. Hello for uh, Mike Ball. Would, why would you not? <laughs> Mike, yes, why would you not? Walk on the wild side. I'm subscribed. Thank you. Walk on the wild side. Uh, Joey, good evening. The 1940s um, is due in Sheringham this weekend. I go every year. Good luck with that. So videos coming up on my channel. Next week, we're going to be coming live from Gran Canaria. So uh, make sure you... Ch I'm not quite sure what day that is going to be. Uh, videos coming up on the channel. Western Supermare this coming weekend on... F no, tomorrow. Western Supermare. And I visit the world's biggest fish and chip restaurant. That's coming up on Sunday. So if you've ever wanted to buy a boat, these guys have not ever given me any sponsorship money. But um, if you look in their windows, you can see boats of all sizes. Take a day trip on the Norfolk Broads. It really is lovely. Oh, they sell houses. Oh, I should have a look. Yeah, if you are watching, we're going to go to one more location as well on the Norfolk Boards. We've tried to do three. This is as live, 20 past seven, Thursday evening. If you're watching this on replay, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're watching this live, why does this look like a train track? I don't understand that. <laughs> it looks like a train track just there. Hello to Andy. Good evening. Hello to Paul. Hello to Joey. Also, hello to Stefan, who's joined the live chat. Hi, Tim. How do I become a channel member? Channel membership, right. Let's just clear this up very quickly once again, because I, I feel like I have to say this. People get confused. The videos are free to watch. Subscribing is free to watch. You'll never have to pay to watch these videos. What it is is basically a way to support me... Um, the creator of these videos to make more of them okay so channel membership is a great way to do that uh, the link is in the description you just can pay for a price of a cup of coffee coffee a little bit more you get a little badge that changes color to how long you've been supporting the channel you can get extra perks like see videos that I'm gonna put up on the channel um, earlier than everyone else and also exclusive behind the scenes content so I'll do other videos just for channel members that's how it works. If you want to hit that button, I would really appreciate it. You don't have to, of course. Link is in the description, and it's where that little button that says join. I was very a little bit unnerving about channel membership for a long time, but I thought I'll do it and see how it goes. So obviously your feedback is great, so you let us know how it how you're feeling about channel membership as well. I'm gonna show you some houses up here as well, which are really nice, which you can rent on the Norfolk Broads and in the summer, best place to do it. Uh, Potter Hyam and also the world famous um, department store that is known as Latham's as Potter Hyam. I'm gonna walk in there in a second Hey Connor, good evening Signal is good Mackie uh, Mike sorry it should be good See these people are very lucky to live here Maybe they rent it. I'm sure they must rent it. Hello, Sophie. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Tim. Love the channel. Love your videos. I've just watched your Gibraltar video that has just hit 90,000 views. Yeah, go and check that out. If you haven't, I did a... Well, I did a live in Gibraltar as well as the tour of Gibraltar. Yeah, just hit 90,000 views. Absolutely amazing. Um, Andreas. Hi, Tim. What is your most viewed video? Um... Well, my my most viewed video from Norfolk is Chroma, which got about 90,000 views. But before that, or after that, was definitely my London Christmas Lights video that has had over half a million views, which is just crazy. That's No one's asked me that question before. What's your video with the lowest views? <laughs> That's interesting. I'll tell you the answer to that, I think. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh yes, The Road to Nowhere, which I filmed a few weeks ago, only had 3,000 views. It's a tourist attraction in Yate, it's like a, an unfinished dual carriageway. You can go and check it out on my channel if you want. 
Gem, it's so bright where I am because this is an as live. It was filmed two hours ago, that's why. Stephen Lewis does go on, that's why I can't make him a mod because I'm worried about what he would do. But Steve, you know, prove me wrong. Lovely boat coming in here. I'm sure this gentleman really does not like me <laughs> right now as he parks his boat. We've still got one more broad to come as well uh, in the entirety. But you can stay here. Look, look. most people have cars in their gardens. You can park your boat in your garden. If you want to stay here, look at this. Lazy Lee's holiday accommodation. Maybe they'll give me a discount one day. I understand, Lewis. It's fine. Linda, thanks very much for your £2 super chat. Somewhere to moor your future yacht. <laughs> I don't think it will fit in there, to be honest. Belvedere doing the job. <laughs> oh, Jimbo is fine. So the best thing about the broads is the countryside here in North Norfolk. It really is lovely. What I'm doing now is just I'm quickly walking behind the houses that have their views onto the broads and seeing what it looks like. Look, each house has their own little car park for a boat. Isn't that cool? It looks like they're doing some work there at the moment. Uh, Chris, do you have another job or does YouTube pay well? Chris, this is the answer that I'm going to give you. I still do other work. YouTube isn't my full-time job yet. Fingers crossed it will be one day. Obviously, when you see um, adverts on the channel, that's what helps pay for things because obviously doing these videos costs a lot of money. Petrol and hotels are an absolute fortune, um, not least my time. But that's why I'm, I ask, you know, very kindly for people to donate to the channel. And you can do that through very various ways through Super Chat, um, channel membership and, of course, Patreon as well. When I first started the channel, I didn't. I wanted to, to show people, and I says as I still do, how beautiful the British coastline is. You know, I first started in Norfolk, and I've done a lot of videos from Norfolk, but obviously I have done a lot of videos elsewhere. So do check them out on my channel. There's actual playlists that you can see. So if you want to check out the Lincolnshire coast, uh, the South Coast, um, and loads more just check them out city walks as well they're all on my channel now and if you go to the playlist option you can see all of your favorite videos there's also lots of videos abroad from greece crete and also coming up next week from the canary islands as well so you know hit subscribe check them all out give them a thumbs up it helps me out loads lewis i would be a good mod <laughs> i'm sure you would lewis He does hot tub photos. <laughs> Mike, yes, I've done a f I'm not a model, but um, I've done a few holiday park photos. And obviously, myself and Gabby, we've been doubles for um, EastEnders um, during the pandemic. So, yeah, that helped us put the food on the table. Uh, Charles said, love your videos. A walk um, would be interesting to the mirror ball in Blackpool. Yeah, I'm obviously going to be in Blackpool at the end of October. I've been invited by Blackpool Pleasure Beach to do uh, the fireworks because obviously the final fireworks to celebrate that. Is it the 125th year? So I'll be down for that. Also, I'll do a walk of the illuminations. I know a little bit late. There's plenty of other videos if you want to see them already on that now. But uh, yeah, our walk around the famous Potter Hyman is almost coming to an end. Stand by because I'm going to be going up a church in a minute, up a spiral staircase and literally timing it just right so I don't get deafened by the bells and taking a look at the broads from a uh, higher perspective. Hello to Charles. Thanks, Charles. I really do appreciate that. David, thanks for shouting out. Yep, yeah, hit, th hit the thumbs up. It helps me out enormously. If you're watching this live right now, it's 7.30 on Thursday evening. Um, this was recorded two hours ago. <clears throat> Honestly, literally from where I live in Great Yarmouth, I travelled to Wroxham first, Potter Hyam, and then obviously to the last broad, which we're going to come to in just a minute. These are some of the day boats you can get. 
Honestly, day boats are quite cheap if you book them off peak. Obviously, if you book them peak, which is obviously during the six weeks holidays into the start of September, they'll be a little bit pricey, but they're not too bad. It's a great way to explore the broads, and you won't break the speed limit either because you can't go too fast in them. Mike said, you go to Winter Wonderland this year? Yes, I've booked my tickets for the first day of Winter Wonderland at London's Hyde Park. I'm looking forward to it. Haven't been there for a couple of years, actually. You can see my old video from Winter Wonderland. Do you know what? I love the food there. Oh, the food is amazing. Forget the fair rides. I know the fair rides are good and themed, but the food at Winter Wonderland in London is amazing. Is the bridge uh, navigable? Yes, Clive. I'll show you the bridge right now. Obviously, if you're going under it, you've obviously got to have a very low boat. Hence why a lot of the, uh, the boats on the broads have all got that low roof. What's weird about it is there's a traffic light system in place. Now, this is for cars, but it's also for pedestrians. Although I don't think many pedestrians really care. But yes, if you want to drive... Look, he's just gone for a green light. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about the gentleman. It's a red light. I'm not going to go over the bridge, but I'll just show you just how narrow this bridge is if you're ever driving over here. Look, and if you have to walk over the bridge as well. Uh, big, my friend Wendy is moving to Great Yarmouth. I'll be visiting the weekends. You should go and check out the boards. Hello, Julie. Lovely vlog today, Tim. Where is the best place to park to walk along the broads? Do you know what? The the broads are massive. They stretch, uh, I don't know how many miles. Um, the thing is, there's so many different locations where you can park your car. Um, and on a good sunny day, you'll find it hard to park. I'm not going to lie. Yes, Jeremy, you're very true. That bridge is supposed to be very haunted. In fact, there's lots of ghosts around Potterheim, apparently. There is the village sign for Potterheim. Look at that. Pots on the um, signpost. So, hey, Charlotte, good evening. Fab vlog today. Love your video. Thank you, Joe Jacks. So, people have always asked me to come to Potterheim for a walk, so I hope you're happy. I also thought it was justification to do a walk into the famous Lathams of Potterheim, which we're going to do in a minute. And why Lathams is so good, because it's a department store where you can pretty much get absolutely everything. They have not sponsored this video, they have not sponsored me to say this, but if I want to get anything, I come here. Imagine a pound shop where you can get everything but a little bit better quality. <laughs> the famous discounts to Superstore on the broads. Hello, Sharon. Good evening. Hello, Ali as well. She loved Lathams. <clears throat> Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Helps me out loads. We're going in for the first time on a live. We're going in. <laughs> We're going into Lathams. <clears throat> Right, this is why Latham's is so amazing, right? You can get pretty much everything, sweets, stuff for the home, and, yeah, Christmas is coming up. Why don't you get yourself this? Or maybe this? Or maybe this? Or even... Oh, I've done that. Yeah, I've done that. I'll show that again. Maybe this. Now, that looks cool. I want that. That looks really good in a festive truck. This looks even better. The best is still to come, though. Santa in a telephone box. How amazing is that? David, thanks for doing that. They haven't sponsored this video. Don't tell people that. You can get cards in here as well. This shop is amazing. Clothes. You can get shopping powder. You can get everything in here. The floor needs to be redone, but we don't care. There's pot noodle on the right-hand side. There's food. There's Lucky Charms. There's shreddies. <laughs> There's alcohol to the left. Always a winner. No, I better walk past here if Gabby's watching. Oh, look. That's interesting. Oh, you can see my... Oh, yeah. A round lantern light. Some more lanterns on the right-hand side. See, this shop is amazing. You can get f um, furniture gear outside as well. Anything you can think of is in this shop. Seriously. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is not an advert for Latham's. They've even got a coffee shop and a bakery in there. Some people. 
In fact, um, bless her, I remember my nan. My nan used to love this shop. She would literally do a day out in Latham's. <laughs> She'd bring a flask of tea and everything. Well, I hope you enjoyed Potter Hyam. It's time to move on to the next broad in this um, live stream. So let's quickly jump by the power of magic. And if we wish hard enough and click our heels, we should jump to our next location. John, they probably do. Here we are in our next location, and it is Ranworth Broad. And I'm going to be taking a trip here because this is one of the few churches in Norfolk that you can actually go up at any time of the day. I'm going to go up there and have a look. Now, if anyone who is dizzy, I ask you to either skip this if you're watching this on replay or just look away because it will be quite dizzy going up the stairs. Just walking through here. And I have to say, this church is... I'm not a church goer. I don't go to church. But um, these old doors... God knows how old the church doors here are in Ramworth Church. But it really is a pretty church. Listen how quiet it is. There is nobody else here other than us right now. Other than 344 people watching. Right, let's go up. Look at that stained glass window. Amazing. Right. That is a photo. That's a picture. That's really gone. Weird. I can't really see it. Here we go. 89 uneven steps. Two ladders, one trap door. Are you ready to do this, people? <laughs> Here we go. Step one. As we're going up this staircase. And I tell you, when I was filming this, I could film. I could feel a cold draft. It was weird. So if you're dizzy, I do apologise. I'm obviously climbing up here with the camera. It is a very tight space. So you're going to see a lot of stairs. <laughs> but just look. This is very tight. But here we go. Look at that. There's some lights in here. So you can go up here. I don't know if they close this church at any other time. I don't know. Sean says I went up here 15 years ago. Honestly, the views you get from up here are amazing. Let's just be quiet, just for a moment. And hear me heavily breathing up the stairs. Just want to say this is the first time I've done a live upper church stairs. Look, we can just look quickly look outside, a bit out of focus. This is the first time I can do a live. I'd never be able to do a live up here before. There's a random church door here. I don't know where that goes. But there's graffiti on the top of that. Weird. I continue. Renato it is a great view from the top. We'll show that in just a second. Literally just probably a couple more minutes before we get to the top. <laughs> Please give the stairs a thumbs up. The stairs need it. So do the view. Look, we're getting higher. It's amazing how fast and how high you can go up. This is uh, free to go up. They asked for donations. I gave a donation before I did the video because I came up here um, with Gabby and Holly. Gabby didn't come up, obviously, but Holly did. No big. It wouldn't be good. Right. Hang on. Here we are. We're at the top. You think it's at the top. But right now, this is where the bells are. And just, there's some more ladders here. I would word caution, do not come up here at the top of the hour. Those bells will go off and you will probably be deafened. But just climbing up here, look, I'm inside the church tower right now. And I was panicking because I thought the church bells were going to go off. Because it was literally at about 3.55. I rec No, 4.55 I recorded this video so I knew in 5 minutes those bells were going to go off look at that, absolutely amazing there is one more set of steps to go really randomly you have to open this latch which says please close this hatch door when leaving the tower I thought it was locked, I was like no, I can open it there you go, I'm up if you don't like heights I would look away but it's not too bad but here we are, look, on the top of the church tower. I've never been able to do this on live, so I'll shut the hatch. You know, they do say shut the hatch. 
And obviously when the bells go off, it'll be very loud. But there's nobody else up here. It's just you and us. 400 people watching. Wow. Thank you very much. Please give the video a thumbs up. Checking out the views over the beautiful countryside of Norfolk. And indeed, Ranworth. And indeed, Ranworth Broad. Sorry if that just buffered then. Look at the views though. If you can see in the distance, you can probably see the east coast. You can actually see Great Yarmouth in the distance. I don't know if you can see the big wheel, but that is in the direction of Great Yarmouth. As I pan around over this way, you should be able to see, well, that would be Lowestoft. There's the church. Uh, Jimbo, I don't know how high it is. I don't know how high it is. But yeah, Yarmouth in the distance. Casey, you probably see the wind turbines of Scroby Sands. Norwich over there in front of us. But this is weird, just standing on the roof of a church. Love that, though. I want that on my house. Belvedere, I don't think you could base jump from here. It's not high enough. But I've just... I've just... I've noticed all this graffiti up here as well. People tag their names... To say they've been up here. Truly is amazing. In fact, there's a random chimney here with uh, graffiti on it. Matt's been up here. What's down there? Can't see anything. If you don't like heights, uh, that's too high. But there you go. That is Norwich. In the di we can't see Norwich Cathedral today, unfortunately. Clouds have come over a little bit. It is starting to get dark. If you are watching this live, this was recorded literally a couple of hours ago. Yarmouth over there, you can just see the broad over there which we're going to pay a visit to and the thatched house and Ranworth broad just over there. So we need to go back down the stairs as I open the latch. Is it a bit dodge up there? <laughs> Mike it is. Just going down these steps are a bit dodge I tell you and holding a camera at the same time. Health and safety. I can do this. Sorry about my ripped jeans. Goodbye Ruth. It was lovely to see you. Honestly, come up here if you can, if you're, if you're able-bodied. But, um, yeah, health and safety. There's no one up here, you know, to help you. So just hold on to things tightly. But just going back into the uh, the bells, this is scary because, you know, I'm, I'm paranoid these are going to go off. Because at the strike of each hour, they all... They'll literally bell for like three or four. Like, so if it's a three o'clock, they'll bell for three times, four o'clock, four times, etc., etc. Coming down the steps. I don't know whether the church is ever shut. I really don't know. Darren says, closer to God. I did feel like that. I've got to walk down the stairs now. Look, it's just, a, I just love coming into these old places. And it's great that I can do this with you guys on a live because normally the signal would cut out and it'd be ruined. Right, let's just go down these steps now. Now this will make you dizzy and I do apologise if you get dizzy. Maybe look away or just skip this if you're watching this on a uh, on a replay. Look, there's more graffiti up here. I feel like I'm in a, um, a tomb or something right now. I should have... No, I wouldn't do. Out of respect. Walk with me, Tim. Thanks, Joey B. Right, walking down, I would like to say is easier, but it's not. Because A, it gets you, <laughs> it gets you dizzy and you can easily lose a footing. You've got to look down at the same time, but it makes you so dizzy. That's why I just occasionally stop to get my bearings. Was the church pointing to the east, Trevor? I do know that this this is a reason, isn't it? All churches... There's that door again. I want to know where that goes. All churches do point to a specific location, don't they? I don't know why that is. Going down the steps, if you're just joining us, we're just going down a church. We've just been up the roof. You can rewind, of course. Remember to hit the thumbs up. Thumbs up for the stairs as we continue down. I'm going to ruin my sketches. Blimey, we should get down in a minute. <laughs> we should get down in a minute. Yes, built by hand. True craftsman. <laughs> I know. Oh, are we down yet? Does that yellow step mean that we're halfway there? Andy, I've been in here. We've just all been in here on our own. No one else has been here. It's been very quiet, although I've been talking all the whole time. Are we nearly down yet? 
Rose says it's to do with sunrise and sunset and heaven. Interesting. I think we're at the bottom now. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're almost at the bottom. There's lights. So if you come up here in the winter, maybe I should come up here for Halloween. What do you think? Just coming back out the church right now. Listen how quiet it is. Just listen to this. Oh, just very quickly. 89 uneven steps to the Ramworth Tower. Two ladders and one trapdoor. Feel free to donate. How random. They take contactless. <laughs> That's amazing. Lovely church. Bye, Ramworth Church. Obviously, I'm just going to shut this wooden door. So, do you know what? I'd love to know when this door was made. I mean, look at the history of it. What that must have seen. That's fine, Lewis. So, we leave the church behind. I hope you enjoyed that. There I was, all the way up there. Something slightly different. Charlotte said it's a good idea to do it at Halloween. Ooh, I don't know if I could do it at Halloween night. That would freak me out. Right, we're going to walk now to Ranworth Broad. And it's very pretty, very picturesque. And there's a little boat that takes you around the corner. We'll go and check that out in a minute. But to get there, we have to walk through um, uh, what I would say is a, um, a swamp, but without the alligators. But don't worry because there's wooden stuff there for us to walk on. John, at least I didn't get locked in. Thankfully, I didn't. This was recorded literally two hours ago. This was recorded by the time when I was in Ramworth. This was at five o'clock this evening. Big says, the cold air, the stair I was up there, was the stairs was the spirits, back turns. <laughs> nice parking. Thanks, Mike. Please hit the video. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this. A different video than I've ever done. I know it's dark outside if you're watching this on live right now, but this was recorded a couple of hours ago, um, the broads, but I couldn't do this just as live because the signal would be dodge all over the shop. Don't forget as well, guys, video coming up from Western Supermare tomorrow and on Sunday. My first kind of food review, I don't really do food reviews, but I had to visit this fish and chip shop restaurant that apparently was the biggest in the world. And I'm on the uh, the quest to find the best fish and chips around the country, so watch out for some of those videos as well. Now, to get down to the broad, we're going to have to go down this country lane. And I know you guys love walking with me down odd country lanes do you remember one i don't know if you watched the live that i did from great yarmouth to galston in fact over 700 people were watching live at that point <laughs> so i'm sure we can all deal with this there's a speed limit of 30 miles an hour we're not going to break that ali is loving this tonight we're going to see some posh houses on the right hand side as well I don't know why sometimes i go into a little bit of a norfolk accent i'm trying to avoid that obviously as you know, my beautiful wife, Gabby, originates from Norfolk. I'm not from Norfolk. She has a very broad Norfolk accent. So does Holly. So on the odd occasion, I'm finding myself picking up the Norfolk twang. Charlotte will be there, Tim. Looking forward to that. Thanks, Charlotte. Jeremy, yeah, sometimes when you log in, it all depends on your internet settings, the quality of the signal. It should, this is broadcasting in 1080p, which is HD. But I don't think it's HD as it used to be. Now, Not now there's 4K. All my other pre-recorded videos always are in 4K, if you wanted to know. If you have a 4K TV, you should be able to enjoy them. Like if you watch Sandbanks or Butlins, that's in beautiful 4K. Um, Sandbanks will be in 4K. Um, so I just said that. Um, and Western Supermare will be in 4K, as well as my fish and chip shop review. So your mouths can get salivating. Yeah, no crispy tonight. The official original mod is not here tonight, but I'm glad that I've made other you, other people mods to help me out on the live streams. Obviously, because I'm doing this from home right now, and I did this walk a couple of hours ago, I can sit here with you guys and uh, chat with you. I need to walk past these people. Are they going to take a left? Are they going to take a left? They always do. They always do. No, they're not. Right. You don't see this, but they're all staring at me. 
This is Ramworth Broad, the entrance as we take a step through here. And what you can actually see on the Norfolk Broads, it's quite interesting to check out these boards if you're into your wildlife. Now there will be moments where I pause this video for silence just to take in the whole of the Broads atmosphere. This is where we're going to be going. We're going to be heading to the wildlife centre just up there, which is in a thatch cottage, and near the dam where a little boat goes to the other side of Ranworth Broad. Before we do that, this, this, free, this tree always freaks me out because it is so old and looks so scary. But yes, you'll often see dragonflies walking through here. The reason why this is put in is because um, you would be walking through swampland. See you later, Mackie. Sidechain Blaine, yes, this was pre-recorded a couple of hours ago. Literally, whenever I, whenever I do an As Live, it will always be on the same day, literally a couple of hours ago. That lady's painting. Just how beautiful is this? All right, they don't look very beautiful, but it's just peaceful. If you want something different, alive next week from Gran Canaria, <laughs> it'll be complete contrast. I've never done a live from the Brawls before, so this is very different. Look, there's mushrooms here. Can you eat these? Are these poisonous? Can you let me know in the comments? Don't they look weird? But, I mean... I was saying to Holly, you know, seeing nature like this without being on a school trip, you know, it's very important to come along and see these things in real life. Very boggy around here. I haven't seen that many dragonflies, to be fair. When I was on a my boat trip, a day boat tour, which you can see in the description after this video, there was loads of dragon bo uh, dragonflies. They were really lovely. <laughs> I don't know, Ali. Yes, they're poisonous. Don't touch them. Here you go, look. This is a this is car woodland, a swamp without the alligators. There you go. You can see lots of wildlife, but it's very boggy. So I'm very thankful that this uh, raised path is here. Don't you feel sorry for the people that were putting this path in? Anyway, I'm going to stay quiet for literally the next 30 seconds so you can enjoy. Turn your volume up and immerse yourself in the beauty of the sounds of the Norfolk Broads. Enjoy. Mike, I saw that comment. I was not sipping wine. Thank you. <laughs> Wish I was. So the thatched cottage up here is a, a little um, place where you can go and get some RNLI, uh, not RNLI, um, royal protection for bird stuff. And also look out over the broads. Jimbo, there's no waterfalls here, unfortunately. Not in Norfolk. Anyone will tell you Norfolk is flat. <laughs> there's no waterfalls in Norfolk. If you're liking the video, guys, I would really appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up. Let's get to 300 by the end of the stream. That'd be good. You can see a lot of ramblers. Now, I'm not dressed like these guys at all. I don't have a backpack. I don't have shorts. I'm wearing jeans and a jumper and sketches. I'm not dressed like most ramblers are. RSPB, thank you Rose, <laughs> that's the word I was looking for. Sorry, you just saw my muff in the screen. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this different live tonight. A lot of people have asked for this, so I thought I would do it in as live. So just walking up to the RSPB hut. You can see where we are now on the broads, Ransworth Broad. You can see how all these broads are all different and all segregated differently. 
it's not like you can go from one well you kind of can go from one broad from Norwich and then down to Great Yarmouth and visit all these you kind of can but you kind of can't don't ask me about the mapping system I don't know but if you wanted to catch a boat from here which is very different you can get one of these little boats in fact there's a boat just about to board I'm not going to go on it because I'm going to do the walk but uh, you can hire the boat I think it's £2.50 something like that during opening times here in Ramworth Broadway you literally just go around the corner on the boat but it's quite nice Julie I did I got bitten by loads of mozzies I'm not gonna lie obviously being on the broads this time of year mosquitoes are right pain in the bum but um, matching hats for the two customers there wearing life wearing life jackets just in case I don't think they're gonna get into turbulent waters Ali look you Brits are so lucky Come on, Ali, you've got Florida. This is like Florida in a way, isn't it? Thanks, Brian. Trace is enjoying the walk. There they go. I missed the boat, unfortunately. Look, there's cones in the water to show you to slow down to go into Ramworth Broad. You just see there on the right-hand side, I'm just going to walk up there just to show you what it's like from that perspective but um, yeah there's an RSPB shop there you can go and get some merchandise if you want and uh, donate to the Royal Society for the protection of birds Mark yeah the water is, is going to be calm it's the Norfolk Broads it's an inland waterway so it's going to be perfectly calm although on a windy day it can create little waves I'm not going to lie Ali P, I feel so lucky to live on the East Coast. It is beautiful. This is an absolute gem. If you ever come to North Norfolk, Norfolk, Great Yarmouth, Norwich, check out the Norfolk Broads. Mike, I always see subscribers on my channels. Everywhere I go, I'll see someone. In fact, I saw somebody in Roxham who was in their car and they wound their window down. I didn't capture it on camera, but they went, Hi, Tim. <laughs> Honestly, it's everywhere I go now. I could be uh, in in um, on the south coast in Western Supermare. I can be in Blackpool. I can be in Skegness. I can be in Greece. I can... <laughs> it, they, my subscribers get everywhere. It's kind of nice. And if you haven't already, please make sure you do subscribe to my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Andy. Do they get flooded? That's a good question. Jimbo, they don't because... As far as I know, um, it's not tidal, so they well, it is kind of linked to the tides, but it, I don't think there's much flooding going on in the broads. No. Michael and Judy Claridge, have I gone up the Cromer Church? No, I haven't. But uh, if you want to see the top of Ranworth Church, just rewind on this video. In fact, there's a little viewing platform here. Let's just go and have a look. Step up here. So you can see all the, you can get kingfishers here, look, and ducks, obviously, but it's a great viewing platform. I know that a lot of people come here with binoculars and look out for birds and all that kind of stuff. It is very peaceful, Melissa. I'll, I'll shut up a little bit, actually, just so you can enjoy it. Yes, Philip, they do. Yes, Roxham, you are right. Some areas don't, but uh, Roxham does. They are tidal. Okay, I was wrong. I apologise. Little I know. Thanks to you guys, you're here telling me. So we're going to walk back now and show you Ranworth Broad, um, where you can get a cup of tea or a coffee. There's actually a nice pub. And I'm running right now <laughs> because I know we've already done this. So I'm running for you guys in a jumper. And it's September and it's 22 degrees. It's very warm. Just have to skim past these people first. They won't mind. Can you get seagulls and swans? Jimbo, you don't normally get seagulls on the broads. It's weird. You get seagulls in land, don't you? But you don't get them on the broads. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe we should ask the seagulls. Thanks, Ali. I could have fast forwarded Mike, but um, I, just, I decided not to. 
Just because this area is so peaceful and quiet, I've never done this on live before. I know there's not much to see, but you know, I know there's a lot of people that message me that really do appreciate my walks and um, they use them to get to sleep and stuff like that. So for those guys that want to get to sleep, that are watching this maybe late night, I will be quiet for the next uh, 30 seconds. Somebody just brought up a very good point. Seagulls prefer fish and chips. They do. <laughs> when are you going to do whoring? Horning, sorry. There you go. That's a nice bit broad there. Um, well, if, if enough of you guys like this broad, I might do a part two live of some other broad locations. So let me know if you like this video. Obviously, if you give it a thumbs up, that tells me that you like it. If I get to at least 500 thumbs up, I know you guys like it, all right? There's 369 watching concurrently right now. That changes all the time, obviously. But um, if you guys give the video a thumbs up, I will do a part two if you like it enough. I know it's very different because it's very peaceful and tranquil. And I know that a lot of people have asked for this. So that's why I thought I would do three different broads locations in one video. I can't do this during a live, you see. So that's what uh, during a live stream. It is a live stream, but it's not light i'm getting very confused you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> hi tim was there last friday we went on to the broad says lynn horning is beautiful horning is beautiful yeah i know it's dark outside this was recorded literally a few hours ago uh somebody said why do i not choose to do this as a pre-recorded video and edit it it's a very good question uh, I thought it'd be different to kind of involve you guys in the community with Walk Me Tim about how uh, to do it on the live. Jan, how do I become a channel member? Um, obviously, you can hit subscribe, watch my videos, they're all free. But if you'd like to support the channel, channel membership is a great way to do it. You get loads of li little perks. The link is in the description. OK, so open up the description. You can see it there. Just for a price of coffee, you can support the channel. I really do appreciate it. Obviously, all the super chats I do appreciate as well. That's fine, Lewis. No worries. Ah, uh, uh, yes, AJ Locke. You, yes, you have full of alligators. I tell you what, though, you wouldn't want to go swimming in the broads because we've got a problem with green and blue algae at the moment, which cause problems. But look at this. Look, look, look out. Honestly, you will see so much wildlife. Look how close I can get to this butterfly before he moves but dragonflies are really beautiful around here as well it's like a scene out of a movie though if you get a day boat and go on the broads and you see dragonflies if you've never seen a dragonfly before you won't until you've come to the broads and you see them flying in abundance it really is pretty Darren thank you very much yeah well I get to see the comments when I do a live walk as well but sometimes it's hard to keep up Sean, yeah, it helps push out to more of my subscribers if you hit that video. Thumbs up. It's free to do. And, of course, hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell. There's some very posh houses. I'd love to live here maybe one day. We'll never be able to afford it. So we're just walking down towards Ranworth Broad. We're, we're on Ranworth Broad. We've been up the church. But you can see there's all private mooring here. So all these houses on the right-hand side, there are a lot of money. They have their own private broad. Just skip that because it was getting a little bit boring. We're getting closer now. And I can see a pub to my right-hand side. I'm following the people to the pub. This is a really lovely pub in Ramworth. Um, you should definitely check it out. The Norfolk Broads do have a lot of pubs. A lot of them are accessible by boat, obviously. But if you're doing the tour on foot, which you can do, um, you can see them by foot as well. Thank you, Michael. If you're watching this on replay, I'm talking to people in the live chat. You can bring up the live chat and watch along with it if you wanted to. Now, if someone can tell me the correct, correct pronunciation for this pub, it would really help me out.
So I was I did walk here with Gabby at the weekend, um, and I was like, "How do you how do you pronounce this pub? The Maltsters, the Maltsters, right? That's right. <laughs> it really is a nice pub on the Norfolk Broads. Again, this was filmed just a few hours ago. People still out enjoying the September warmth. Twenty two degrees it got up to today in Norfolk. Would you have fish and chips on a boat, Jimbo? Good question. The answer is where would you get the fish and chips from? And here is the village sign of Ramworth. And if you are American right now and you're watching this, very typical quintessentially British here with a post office and a little cafe. It's really lovely. I had a, uh, a cream tea. If you don't know what that is, that's um, a scone with um, like a biscuit, what you'd call in America, um, with cream and jam and a nice cup of tea. Very nice from here. Look, the post office is in there as well. By the way, remember guys, it really helps me out if you put a comment underneath the video once it's gone live. So if you could do me a favor, once the stream has ended, just go under the comment section under the video and just type in a little comment that you enjoyed the video. It really helps me out. Also engages with me as well to tell me if you'd like to see part two of the broads and when I should do it. Now you know that boat that we saw a few minutes ago just near the RSPB kind of hut. This is where it comes to and drops people off. Not quite sure why you would do that, but if you wanted to take a, a nice little trip on the broads, he does this daily during the summer. Perhaps the seagulls don't like dragonflies or vice versa. I don't know. Maybe. We're getting to that time of the evening where people are enjoying their bottles of wine on their boats, which we'll be able to see up here, making me very jealous. Tim, in a scone, do you put jam or cream on first? Jimbo, that is a very good question. I used to put jam on, but now I put the cream on because it works better. Next, you're going to ask me whether I put sugar in or milk in tea before the tea bag, but there you go. They're drinking. <laughs> They're having a glass of wine. And why not? There's a place to get it. And free moorings. Somebody said, look, get a boat. There's certain places where you can get free mornings. Hello, Simon. Thanks for joining the live stream. People there obviously just having a nice little bit of a drink right now, enjoying the evening. And here we are at Ramworth Broad. So obviously all the broads connect via these little waterways and then they open up into bigger boats as well. See look, this was recorded literally at uh, quarter to five. They were just going out on their day boat. Have no idea what this boat is about on the left hand side. Thank you, Michael and Julie Claridge, for explaining that. <laughs> Mike Ball, can I feel a 30 seconds license coming on? Paul says, my wife puts jam, then cream on her scones. She has high cholesterol. These ducks are very noisy. They're getting fed. A, bla a great place to come and feed the ducks. <laughs> Oh, bless him. Running away from me. And the swans as well. You can feed the ducks, Jimbo, but don't feed them bread. It's a myth, you know. Like you say, it bloats their bellies. If you, a lot of the broads places, you can get some food that you, you could pay for, like, just a couple of pence um, and feed the ducks that way. Shall I go in? No, I don't think I will. Beautiful evening, though. A couple of houses there with um, boats in their backyard. How the other half live. We used to skate on the board in the winter when I was a child. Wow, Kerry, I bet that was when it used to freeze over. I used to do that back where I lived, actually. But we didn't have the broads there. We just had some little flooded fenland. Well, there you go. I hoped you enjoyed my live from the broads tonight. A little bit different. It was an as live. Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Don't forget, video from Western Supermare coming up tomorrow. There's also my fish and chip review from the world's biggest fish and chip restaurant. That's coming up on Sunday. And I'll be live from the Canary Islands next week. So hopefully that is when my next live will be. I really appreciate your support. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment below after this video is finished. And don't forget in the, co in the description, sorry, 
check out my video from the Norfolk Broads. Have a lovely rest of your Thursday evening, guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon.